Good morning, this is Larry Edelson for my Uncommon Wisdom video for Thursday, December 3rd. I hope you all had a very nice Thanksgiving holiday and long weekend last week. Let's get right to the markets. We're seeing uh, gold explode to the upside again. We just yesterday uh, saw gold break through the $1,200 barrier. It's now trading about $1,215, up about $15 again. If you take a look here at this chart I have for you and that we've been following all along, uh, you can see that gold's ascent continues to accelerate higher. It is getting a little toppy in here and I am still a little bit cautious of this rally. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a pullback occur at any time. So for short term traders you need to be aware that the market is a little bit overbought and, and, and toppy in here. Uh, for intermediate term investors and long term investors, there's no question, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this is the beginning of gold's long uh, next uptrend which will ultimately see it hit at least $2,300 an ounce over the next couple of years and probably much higher. The flip side of gold, uh, excuse me, I have a little bit of laryngitis, I'm just coming off a, a, a cold uh, after a trip to Hong Kong last weekend, so uh, if I clear my throat every now and then you'll, you'll uh, understand why. The flip side of uh, gold is the dollar, as I repeatedly have been telling you, and I just called up the chart here on the dollar here, let me bring it up uh, a little bit better into view for you. This is that triangular downtrend formation that I've been showing you now for over a, a, a couple of months in the dollar. Uh, the dollar is, is just cascading lower in this triangular form, uh, formation. Very, very weak. Uh, the dollar didn't even get a, a rally, uh, couldn't even stage a rally uh, a couple of days ago when the Bank of Japan announced that they too would start uh, printing Japanese yen to reduce the value of their currency. One would think that the dollar would rally against the yen uh, on that news and uh, it did briefly but overall in terms of all currencies the dollar remains uh, uh, incredibly weak and uh, as you know from my writings uh, we are witnessing uh, the uh, ultimate replacement of the dollar uh, as the world's reserve currency that's still a couple years off but the dollar can fall substantially between now and the time that it is replaced as the world's reserve currency. There will be some short-term bounces along the way in the dollar uh, just like there uh, is a pullback overdue in gold there's a rally overdue in the dollar uh, for you short-term traders that, that are shorting the dollar uh, intermediate term and longer term uh, the dollar is um, in very serious trouble. This is also why uh, you're seeing this reflation trade, commodities, gold in particular, uh, moving to the upside because as the dollar falls, other assets uh, inflate against the deflating dollar. Um, and that includes stocks. In my last video update the week before Thanksgiving, I, I did mention to you that I expect the Dow to reach at least 10.8, uh, 10,800, that is by the end of the year. Um, here is that same chart in the Dow here. Let me uh, make it even bigger for you here. Here's the chart of the Dow. Uh, it, it is uh, very similar to gold, not spiking uh, up as, uh, as vertically as gold, uh, but uh, it is climbing with gold as we witness the monetization of various assets. And, and cash uh, or the dollar, paper currencies uh, in general, uh, lose their purchasing power as not only the Federal Reserve but central banks all over the world begin to liquefy uh, the system and will continue to liquefy the system by, by flooding the global economy with paper currencies. Uh, in, in that uh, type of scenario, and, and that's what you have going on today, bear in mind this was not possible in the 1930s depression. Uh, the world was basically fixed to a gold standard and central bankers uh, were, were, not, uh, were very limited in their ability to, to expand the money supply and the supply of credit uh, to counteract any deflationary forces uh, under the gold standard. They no longer have those handcuffs 
on them. They are no longer shackled down. This does not mean that this is a solution to the crisis. It does, however, in my view, uh, and in my work, mean that we will experience the mirror opposite of, of what we saw in the 1930s. Instead of deflation, we will see asset reinflation and eventual hyperinflation in combination with a depression in terms of economic fundamentals, economic activity, uh, unemployment, etc. So make no mistake about it, the, uh, what's happening in these markets is, is unprecedented. Uh, you're living through it and fortunately I, I've been able to uh, keep you on the right side of these investments and will continue to do so uh, in the future. 2010 is shaping up to be an even more exciting year than 2009, so I hope uh, you'll uh, listen to uh, my recent seminar with Martin Weiss on that or take a look at some of my recent writings and some of my upcoming columns on my forecasts for 2010. Till next week, this is Larry. Have a good weekend.